Ayan, our SNS institution was started in the year 1997. So I'm happy to inform that our SNS institution only got that first Indian patent implemented in the design thinking in our institution. In our institution, we are uh, running the 10 institutions in our college, SNS College of Technology, SNS College of Engineering, SNS College of Nursing, SNS Bspine, uh, SNS uh, College of uh, Pharmaceutical and Medical Science, and SNS Academy. So we are running in these uh, 10 institutions, we are focused on design thinking. Also, what do you mean by design thinking? Uh, design thinking is nothing but redesigning a common mind and entrepreneurial mindset. So each student to become an entrepreneur, that's on our, uh, that's on our uh, focus uh, for every uh, uh, <coughs> every faculty in our organization. So we are, uh, we are focused on five pillars. These five pillars only to build that entrepreneur mindset uh, for each student. So what are the five pillars? Center for Learning and Teaching, Skills and Career Development, Center for Creativity, Industry uh, IAPC, Industry Institute of Partnerships, uh, and finally, we are having a social responsibility in CIT. So these are the five pillars only we are going to focus on all the students to build their entrepreneur mindset. So we are following the three pillars uh, in our college. The first one is uh, purpose. So what is the purpose we are doing? Next, we are going to uh, start with the process. So what is the process? Then for we are doing for the people. So purpose, process and people, the three, uh, three pillars we are following in our institution. Thank you. Thank you. Let us now discuss the foundations of SNS culture. SNS institution envisions to build an entrepreneurial mindset through design thinking framework. All our activities are surrounded by the design thinking framework, which encompasses five stages, namely empathy, define, ideate, prototype, and test. We strongly inculcate design thinking in all the activities of our students thereby making them individuals who can very much empathize with their surroundings and come up with excellent solutions to real-time problems. Through this, we also iterate to redefine common minds and business towards excellence. So, hi. So, let me tell you the short story. So, there was a guy from a rural area. So, he was like, uh, after completing his 12th standard, he wanted to be to a college where he has to take all his responsibilities to his village. So, now he had like no idea like, where to start his college career. So discussing with his friends, he got to know about the college of SNS. So while he is entering into the SNS, he had like no idea like how it could be and how it would be useful to his career. So on that time, so when he entered into the college, the day students and the day plans are. So after that, this curriculum wise, the college helped him to the CLT. So the CLT was a uh, Center for Learning and Teaching. So in that regard, he came up with a lot of knowledge with his curriculum. So after that, he had a like lot of other knowledge also. So he got a thought to how to build it and how to like motivate himself. On that time, we built an idea like SE Player, the skill and career development. So on that pillar, he got to know about the skills which he has and he started building his own skills into it. So when he started building his skills, on the knowledge of like what he had into a programming or else into uh, development fields. So he started building his career uh, in that skill developments. So after the skill developments, he went into his creativity levels. So even that, he thought of like what we are going to do with the skills. So he thought, he came up, the college came up with a solution called CFC, Center for Creativity. So on that pillar, he implemented all his creativity levels into it while he grew up with the CLT pillar of his career and as of now he developed his skills also. See he got a platform to implement it. So through that creativity center he got like all the inputs like how to start a business and how to be an entrepreneur. On that basis okay now he started his uh, own website on the development and all the application building he got to know everything with the skill base. On the next time he got a question like what we are going to do and how it is really works. On that time, it becomes like very critical situations. On that, he came up with the like to the discussion with the colleges. On that time, the college gave us another pillar called IITC. So in that pillar, he visited the real industries in the real time and he got to know like what is really happening in the period of 
the times and even the new technologies and the trends which they are running and the management teams and the companies everything comes under that so he got a real time experiences with that with all that experiences he came out with a very good entrepreneurial mindset and on the last we would have a program called SRI social responsibility and initiative so on that program he came up with all the ideas and he delivered everything with us and he just made all the videos for the people. Other than the five pillar, we have additionally three different areas such as spine, eye health and ear pain. The purpose of spine is, students will be highly frustrated through their academic works. So to get relaxation from their academic works, so we have our spine center. So where all the entertainment activities will be happening in those spine centers. Next is eye health. The purpose of iHub is there are seven innovation industries and those industrial problems will be rectified through the seven innovation technologies. Students will be working on the innovation industries and they are solving problems through the technological areas. Next is youth win. So in this area, students talent will be identified, grooming and then it will be showcased. So this is what the advantage of youth win. So yes, so now we all know that like what is inside the SMS and like what is DT and what is the five pillars. So, so I'm proud to say that I'm an SMS family member. Thank you so much.